what's up with the squad back with another video i see in the title is going down make sure you hit the like button subscribe button for me please y'all see it in the title y'all see it in the title um this is true um did cover a couple stories yesterday um last night if y'all haven't seen that make sure y'all go check that out for me um but this is in fact true you know um and i didn't know about the whole acting thing the whole it, it was i knew it was it was set up to be obviously fake to where you know the type of store it was the spice store if y'all haven't you know caught on to that i dropped a couple a few videos last night well a couple videos last night of kamala visiting a spice store spice shop you know of a group of you know leftists um and they don't whatsoever they don't like trump supporters don't like republicans it's all over the website but we're gonna jump right into it and uh check it out y'all well, I had a Penzi Spice collection years ago because someone gave it to me when I got married. But then mm. shortly thereafter, the Penzi's company announced they really didn't want any cons uh, customers who weren't far left in the Democrat Party. And so they have been for years conveying hateful and bigoted messages against different groups of people. And this is only the latest version of it. But you know, it's so interesting with Kamala Harris. She but just imagine, though, just imagine if if Trump were to do anything like that. Just imagine it. Try to sit at home and like just imagine if they would blow everything out of proportion so bad if he was to visit just oh we don't accept Democrats here. We don't accept all oh, you left oh you're not coming in here. You're not buying none of this stuff. And Trump visited that place, buying stuff, look, you know. They make it out to be bad, bro. But, you know, it's so interesting with Kamala Harris. She puts off a pretty good first impression, I think, for a politician. But her problem is that the more you see her and the more you see her in action, it seems to fade for a lot of viewers. And so that Penzi Spice Store visit is a great example. It was kind of a cringe-inducing thing. She also yeah. couldn't get her messaging right. She goes to a store known for bigotry and then says we want to move past divisiveness. Mm -hmm. And it just shows that she's not really um, maybe ready for this level of the playing field. And that just goes to show you right there. I mean, it's a person that literally is a hypocrite. She does nothing but lie. I mean, you obviously see her at this store. She she always talks about, and I don't care, bro. Like, y'all can hop up in my comments, talk crazy. I don't care about none of that. It's just a simple fact that it's true, bro. Y'all Y'all got to wake up and realize, like, how fake this woman is. She plays a certain part all while she was there. She didn't have no type of Southern accent that she did when she was in Detroit, right? So I'm confused on why everybody is like trying to make her out to seem, especially it's a lot of, you know, black people that are supporting her for the wrong reasons. Um, and y'all know what that is. You know, everybody want to hop in my comments and talk crazy. Um, had a dude in my, in my comments yesterday. Couldn't name not one policy. You know, couldn't name nothing that she has done, you know, accomplished. Nothing. You know what I mean, nothing. But you want to hop in my comments and talk crazy though I'm telling you look how fake all this oh come here what is that about what is that about then this woman right here that's wearing a georgetown sweater we gonna we gonna we gonna see about her too you understand how fake all this you is know? oh it's gonna be good we're gonna be good we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine we are all in this together yes we are we're gonna be fine we are. yes we are yes we Thank are you so much. So did you get some spices today oh, you did <laughs> oh it's all good it's all good so this woman right Y'all see this woman in this Georgetown. If y'all check this video out, just look up Kamala visits uh Penzi Spice Shop or whatever it's called. Um, type that in and y'all see it, um, obviously. But they literally have everything. Look, we have a comment right here from Sean Farish. It's Republicans are our word weekend at Penzi's. Click the link to read the email people are talking about. You know, it, this is all over the website. It's it's pretty sickening, pretty sad, to be honest. So we have this woman right here. <clears throat> we talked about this is from Laura uh, on X. You literally have this woman right here that is it's all. And I'm not going I'm not going to say her name. I'm not going to say her name. Y'all can see this post. 
Um, but it says here that, you know, in the video, she did state that she's a lawyer. And what I found interesting about, you know, this whole thing, if it loads, X always does this to me, y'all. If this thing load, let me see. We go down here and it has it right here. Volunteer, Pennsylvania Democratic Party. Uh, August 20th, present. Student volunteer, Obama, uh, Obama and Biden 2012 presidential campaign. So she just happened to be there. These people, these people there, and I, I'm, I don't make it out to seeing all these people. You said these people. These people that was there, um, y'all clearly see that everything was obviously staged. Things are right. You know, she isn't just a random consumer. This is what's stated by Laura. She isn't just a random consumer, protection lawyer in Pittsburgh. She is a volunteer of the Pennsylvania Democratic Party. She also volunteered for the Barack Obama uh, campaign. It's pretty sickening, bro. Like, it's pretty sad that they have to do all of this. I'm telling you. Uh, I said I wasn't gonna say her name, but that was <laughs> that was that was pretty quick. That was the uh, social media, and I'm pretty sure that she deleted everything um, on there on her social media and stuff because you know, obviously, when you get caught up, stuff like that tends to happen. Um, couldn't even say nothing for herself. Like all oh, y'all yeah, was there, like nothing. And a lot of people are going to make it out to be that she was just there. And that everything that Kamala do is obviously set up. We literally just seen uh, plenty of buses, 27 of them, going to New Hampshire for a rally. I mean, it's all in front of But people are literally defending this woman and backing this woman for her fakeness. And it's obviously crazy insane, y'all. Penzi's Spices uh, offers Republicans are the r word weekend they have a deal so you get cheese off the r word for free Ugh, this is wild bro this is wild bro every time i look at this it just gets wilder the message for our time you got the blm stickers they have earned our respect free with any purchase uh just in case conf this is on their website too so y'all can go check it out on penzies um penzi spices oh no 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 that's the second just in case conservatives ever consider buying Penzi Spices, remember that Bill Penzi did this. Penzi Spices have announced that it is holding a special. Republicans are the R word weekend deal. Bro, I'm not playing with y'all, bro. If if this was the other way around, bro, y'all know how bad things would be right now, bro. Y'all know how things how bad things would be. And and you have so many people, not only myself, other YouTubers covering this same thing. And people already in the comments talking crazy. People still backing Kamala and what she's doing. This is not cool, bro, by all means. And I don't know why everybody is sitting there like it is. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Let me know y'all comments and thoughts on this video. Definitely much love, everybody. Catch y'all next one.